Hey there, everybody from cold and dark Sweden, uh, here in my studio in Kalhel, just outside of Stockholm. And uh, today we're going to check out the heaviest cab in the world IR pack, uh, which is by Bogren Digital, Jacob Herman, and actually yours truly. But uh, yeah, so let's dive in. First, let's just give a listen to the, uh, the demo, which is actually the Bow Jam, uh, I called it, which is the, uh, the demo song for the IR pack. So let's give it a listen and I'm going to drink some coffee. So that's how it sounds. And yeah, here it is right here. The heaviest cab in the world, a guitar cab made of stone. And it's from Mahler Engineering. Uh, Mahler sent us this cab back when I used to um, kind of be over there in, uh, in top floor uh, a lot more often. And uh, we've used it a bunch over the years. And it was really cool for Bogren to reach out. And it was really, uh, really awesome to have uh, Jacob include me in on this. So yeah, go check it out there. Uh, and let's dive into the guitar tone. So first off, it starts off with this DJ thing. I just kind of, you know, I wrote a couple of songs looking for the inspiration. I sent them over to Jacob and I was like, which one do you like? And he said he liked this one. So then I continued to refine it a bit. So first off comes this uh, DJ whammy thing. And as you see, I actually use the arch type on those because when I was writing it, Bogren actually didn't have the one knob one knob, knob, amp knob series, uh, which I think is really fantastic. But I stuck with the arch type because that's what I used when I wrote it for the leads at least. And the, um, the whammy effect one has the chunky monkey and the black blimp room, which is kind of like a room um, sound, which kind of has a little bit of a phasey thing to it, but I like it. And that's why we included it as well. Um, and the, the other guitar that's going on is kind of this tremolo thing and that's using the Bohemian lead. Uh, and here's like the stock Nat IRs, but I'm not using those for that. And that also kind of has this phasey thing. But again, when it was this DJ thing, I wanted something that was a little bit out there. So let's check that out. And I wrote those just uh, using, you know, automation right, uh, as you can do in any DAW. And then I just used a mouse like this to come up with the idea. And then I went and kind of cleaned up the automation lanes a little bit. I think it used to exist a little longer and I probably could have cleaned it up a little better. And yeah, it kind of sounds kind of broken up because I indeed hacked it up and chopped it up and I wanted to really get that, you know, robot sound from it. And I think it came across pretty great. So I left it as it is. And then there's some uh, some EQ happening on uh, on both those guitars. Oh, sorry, some EQ happening on both those guitars, and uh, you know a little bit of compression. Nothing crazy, just a couple dB um, rallying it together. And then I have this cool plugin from Sound Toys called uh, Devil Lock doing some crushing, which is I guess a little more compression. 
kind of a saturation compression combination thing. It's a cool plugin. Uh, it was a really, because of those whammy things, it gets really pitchy. So I went and dug out some frequencies I didn't like and shaved off the, a lot of the high end there. And yeah, so that goes into our rhythm guitars. Oh, sorry about that. That was everything. Here's the rhythm guitars. So yeah, the rhythm guitars are rhythm guitars. It's just one, one left, one right. And those are using... Uh, the left one's using the amp knob 6606, which, uh, you know, inverted cross, which if you don't know what amp that is, then uh, go back to school. And uh, the next one is the BDH number three, which is the, you know, EVH style, which is maybe a little bit more hi-fi sounding, but I think it always sounds a little more stereo when you use, you know, different guitar tones from left to right. So I try not to do the exact same thing. Um, by the way, this was mixed originally by Robin Leon. Like I said, I was out on the road, so he actually mixed this up for us uh, the first time and super appreciate it. It sounded great. I was uh, traveling and didn't really have that scope, so the writing was enough for me and I was uh, fixing the video stuff as well. So I stayed on that mission, so to say. And yeah, the right one's using the All You Need and the Dirty 30s. And the left one is using the All You Need in Dirty 30s. So yeah, same IR cabs or IR responses uh, on those. And the reason why these are pulled over to another lane, so actually some of the guitars got recorded with an overdrive on and some of them don't have an overdrive on. And well, that's just what it was. Uh, anyways, we go onwards. Well, they're actually the ex exact same thing pretty much. I just turned off the overdrive pedal in the uh, Bogren uh, amp knob to keep it a little more consistent. Um, the, the DI tone, in case you're curious, sounds like this on the uh, main. And the DI tone on those uh, ones with the, uh, the ones with the tube screamer sound like this. So I probably had the uh, had my pedal board, which had my overdrive on uh, when I was, you know, riding this as I rode it in some hotel rooms and stuff like this. So it got left on, and they exist, so they're there now, and that's what it is. Hey there, future KJ here. I actually realized I didn't talk about what guitars I used on the video or in the uh, in the song. So uh, so here is guitar number one was this uh, Solar uh, BOP, I think it's called, for like open pour, and it's got an Evertune, and I think it's the Seymour Duncan Solar. Uh, I actually don't know off the top of my head. Sounds great, been using that as my main um, tracking and live guitar actually the last uh, year or so. And the other main guitar that pretty much goes with me everywhere is this Charvel SoCal. And I think this is a Mexico, I think. I'm actually not quite sure where it came from. It says made in Mexico on the back, so Mexico. And that has the Bill Lawrence L, can't think of the number, the dime bag pickup. And that's uh, wired normally, but then flipped upside down because, well, that's what, uh, that's what dime did. So yeah, so that was that guitar. Um, back to the video. And the lead guitar uses the uh, the arch type uh, from Neural DSP, which again, that's what I wrote um, or used when I wrote it. And it's just a little preset for uh, for my band, uh, Kill the Kong, uh, Code Black, I named it. Um, I always change presets, so I don't really use them. <laughs> I kind of just... Yeah, it probably never really gets saved as a new preset. I just start with that and then it ends up like that. And I hope it stays the same. And for that, we're using the Like a Rock uh, from the Heaviest Cab in the World and the V30 number three mixed. And I'm using a 50-50 blend of those. And we can check that out. I kind of have like a little Andy LaRock inspired uh, solo thing.
I forgot to say I used this Eventide H910 harmonizer and adjusted the EVH1984 preset. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, and then it's a little bit of, you know, EQ, a little, you know, small bit of compression happening there. Nothing, nothing big, just a couple of dB. Um, the master bus is nothing too far out of the ordinary either. Some EQ with some low and high boost, a good old bus compressor. Maybe hitting four on the, the heaviest hits and a little pro l and a little saturn trick from uh ermin if you've ever checked out his videos it's uh, pretty cool uh yeah i really wanted to kind of sound a little bit off the cuff uh, i used to spend a little more time with another band uh, in the studio and they were recording solos like that and i thought that was kind of cool i don't think i did it in too many takes but i tried not to repeat what i did in the different takes and i tried to just kind of live really in the moment and I think it kind of has some of that, especially with that, you know, slightly legato chaos uh, arpeggio thing happening at the end. And then I left that little tag in there as well, because I thought it, it actually fits really well with the rhythm guitars. Uh, when you hear it goes out. Uh, so, yeah, I left that little bit in there. You don't really hear it in the whole context of the mix. It kind of comes out, though. Uh, yeah, it just... Yeah, hit hard, hit hard. So yeah, that's the uh, the guitar solo, and then you saw what happened with the whammy guitars, and here's some just ambient nothing guitars. Not really doing much. Just wanted to get bigger and more chaotic, I guess. And then besides that, there's some explosions because everything sounds better with explosions shotguns and reverse stuff and uh, dive bombs and airplanes crashing or screaming and metal being hit and yeah that's uh that's pretty much everything uh the base if you're curious uh for you nerds um sorry not you nerds for you you know gear gear looking people this is the Jin Bass, uh, which they just came out with a new one, which I haven't picked up yet. And uh, it sounds great. <laughs> the first one sounds great. I'm sure the second one sounds even better. And if you want to hear the guitars with the bass. Again, I wrote it in a bunch of hotel rooms. I didn't have a bass on me. I maybe could have stolen from the band or something and brought it into the, yeah. The drums are the duality from uh, Tune Track, uh, which actually Jacob did as well, and they sound great. I'm not really sure what I did to uh, to them, but I probably adjusted from a preset, and then I have some drum verb going on um, besides that. And besides that, that's the mix. Thanks again, everybody who got a copy and checked it out. It's really fantastic to see all the wonderful music you're creating with it. And uh, yeah, till next time, stay heavy. <laughs>